Everyone has their own truth of that shocking, remarkable week, that sad week 20 years ago. Did Britain change forever? Did the monarchy change? Or was it just our view of them? William and Harry agree their grandmother did the right thing by keeping them at Balmoral for much of the week. But the lack of a statement from the Queen created a vacuum, and the lack of a half-masted flag at Buckingham Palace created a focal point. It just wasn't royal protocol to have a flag when the Queen wasn't there. Palace press secretary at the time, Dickie Arbiter, was arguing for it, but says he was overruled. They were dealing with all sorts of other issues up at, up at Balmoral and Flagpole was sort of kind of low on the list, which is a bit unfortunate. Uh, and it was only later in the week that they realised it should have been higher on the list and it became higher on the list by the time we got to Saturday. William and Harry admit they found this walkabout at Kensington Palace bewildering. They were stunned by the public emotion from people who hadn't met their mother. But that was Diana's gift. People thought they knew her. By the time the Queen made her TV address the night before the funeral, she was well aware of a change in mood. I, for one, believe there are lessons to be drawn from her life and from the extraordinary and moving reaction to her death. The Queen, who never bows, bowed to Diana. And in the cortege, the princes, aged 15 and 12, walked behind their mother's coffin. It's branded as the day the stiff upper lip died, but not for William and Harry. This was duty. It's made our relationship with the royal family a little bit more human. They're no longer people on pedestals. They, we treat them with respect rather than reverence. We feel ourselves to be citizens rather than subjects. So it's, it's kind of loosened those bonds and we no longer expect them to be perfect. That sad week 20 years ago was a very rocky moment for the British monarchy. It recovered, of course, and it learnt, and it raised two very popular princes. For many, it is in them that Diana lives on.